Voting for the primary election closes in just over 24 hours. The results will dictate more than just the fate of those in the running. They will determine Hawaii's future. Today, candidates are busy sign-waving, doing their best, hoping that you will pick them. Jen Boniza caught up with Governor David Ige and Colleen Hanabusa, the leading candidates in the governor's race. She joins us now with more from the state capitol. Jen? Joe, I'm here at the state capitol, which will be ground zero for counting the votes once the polls close tomorrow night. Democratic Governor David Ige is hoping to keep his position here at the Capitol, but he faces a challenge from Representative Colleen Honabusa. The candidates were busy shaking hands, getting out there on the front line, and thanking their supporters today. We feel very good about where we're at. You know, we saw the momentum changing in the campaign about four weeks ago. We've really uh, picked it up, and um, more and more supporters uh, are joining the campaign each and every day. We have done our job, and it's now in the voters' hands. And of course, our relentless supporters are going to do their part all the way till six o'clock. Hanabusa says she is leaving her seat in Congress to give her supporters. The change they've been asking for. It is about who you believe can deliver for the future. It is about a future. It isn't about same old, same old. It isn't about talking about the same things over and over again. It is about where do we go and how do we build that Hawaii that will keep the next generation here. Governor Ige tells me he feels blessed to be in the position to give back and is ready to continue tackling Hawaii's long term problems. There aren't many jobs where you have the opportunity uh, to make a difference in people's lives. And I think that that's uh, the rewarding part. I think it's about continuing things that we've made uh, progress in. Homelessness, housing are really long-term challenges that uh, we need the entire community to be supportive. If you haven't voted yet, you still have time to register and cast your ballot tomorrow. Voter turnout for the primary election has been notoriously low since 2010. Candidates encourage everyone to come out to make their voices heard. Ige's camp will be at the Pagoda Hotel and Honobusa will be at the Japanese Cultural Center. Both candidates and supporters to come out at 6 p.m. once the polls close. Live from the state capitol, Jen Boniza sending it back to the studio. Thanks, Jen. If you plan on voting tomorrow, here's what you need to know. Well, first, you should know your polling place. You can find that on the Office of Elections website. The polls are open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Those in line by 6 o'clock will be allowed to vote. Be prepared to show proof of identification, be it either a photo ID, utility bill, or bank statement. And vote by mail voters have until 6 p.m. on Election Day tomorrow to submit their ballot to any polling place within their county.